Greetings, salutations, and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be looking at Thank you. Somebody followed our channel. Thank you. Today we are going to be looking at a deck that we're going to be playing on casual. We'll go ahead and tag casual and then we'll grab it from here. The deck is American Co. So what it is, is it is a shackle item battle mage that uses Merrick with Forsworn Looter to play Merrick multiple times. Also somewhere in here, there he is, we've got an Adoring Fan. You really can't see him because he's behind me, but the Adoring Fan is present in this list. And with that said, let's go ahead and take it out for a spin. Oh, it's been a busy day. Always, all these days have been busy days. You'd think, stuck at home, because what am I on? As of recording this, I'm on day eight of lockdown, voluntary lockdown. No symptoms, no nothing, just appropriate social distancing, not going out. Up against a mage list, huh? Stir crazy is still a thing. To combat it, I've kind of started streaming a tad bit earlier than usual. So, at least some good things are coming out of it. Uh, Rapid Shot, Rahad. Not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. Right, looks like we're going to be opening with Rahad. Three drop, huh? Let's shed some light on the problem. Hmm. Action-based battle mage can be a problem. By the fires of oblivion. That is our one copy of Daggerfall Mage in the list, which you get for hitting rank 25 in intelligence, the blue attribute. I feel a storm coming. Sweet. So we're gonna rapid shot. See what we get, and then probably play out for hot battle mage. Time to rock. Shayor, take you. Collect our tome. We've got two gardeners in hand. We just need to acquire some magicka, which we'll get over time, provided I can avoid us being dead. Over the coin. Okay. We place Hive Defender. We've got Rapid Shot Tome. By Onsi's bright blade. Not a bad value trade there. Let's do this. Hmm. You are no match for House Telvani. So he's trying to get that kill all nice and easy like, but we're gonna go ahead and play Tormentor out here. I'm a we're not known for our patience. Ward to take the value. Next turn, we're looking at a gardener into a maze, possibly. I'm hoping that he uses his firebolt this turn. Because otherwise, the gardener dies to firebolt. Die, sweet. My blade is death to assassins. Play your firebolt. Please. Pretty please. You don't want my wardcrafter alive. No, sir, you do not. That works. That is his one from Cunning Ally. 
I tend the sharpest looking lawn in these aisles. Give the mace to you and put you outside of normal trade range. Face me, you Oop. dog. Firestorm, okay. Let's shed some light on the problem. Gonna, oh, you can't play out your firebolt. I will have your head. You best stay on the Could go ahead and tome to just draw some more cards. Found our adoring fan. Oh, we got a Farkas. Are you gonna get up to the top? You're sniffing around. Maybe I put some treats up there that Watch you didn't know about. Now. Ice storm? No, rolling random viewers. Not lethal, not lethal, not lethal. Uh, charge was also pretty bad, but I have another Tormentor, so it's fine. I will have your head. Tormentor Shackle Mace. Get back to work. Looks like it is time for the muscle. That'll do. We're gonna go with not running Dawn's Wrath. A strong arm is what you need. That may not be correct, but that's my gamble. I tend the sharpest looking lawn in these aisles. I tend the sharpest looking nice. lawn in these aisles. Prep the winner's grasp. It's time for a one-sided ice storm. Quick tome. We are literally just looking for Merrick now. Ah, never mind. A concession. We got to see the shackle side of the deck. That's how it controls our opponent's deck down. I just noticed that Farkas isn't really... There we go. There we go. That was a good game one. We saw a Doran fan. We didn't get to play him. He's honestly best if you get him out really early. That way he's able to, well, die and resummon himself. And him being immune to silence is also pretty great. Means he's a guard that once he gets some items on him, stays. Oh, so where were we? We were discussing something. Who knows? Stay hydrated. Hydration's good for you. In this time of pandemic and uncertainty, water still required to live. And happily continuing to sponsor the stream. Though it does so through physical, what would you call water's benefit to humanity? Physical sustenance? It supports the stream via physical sustenance? Seems right. It also very graciously permits us to keep the cats in their cat living state. Archer, huh? Lethal Archer is a pain for this deck. Creatures before items. Ideally, we get a 
well, not what we got. We want a Tormentor in the opening hand, and we want a Blacksmith in the opening hand. We do run 25 creatures in the deck of 40 cards. So hopefully it's just a matter of time until we find them, and we don't find our uh, combo cards like Forsworn Guides. Because you don't want to play him on three. I will not waste words on one so ugly. All the combo creatures. At least he's taking, or she's taking a slower start. Enter the fray. You waste my breath. This is fine. This is perfectly normal. By Onsi's bright blade. You waste my breath. Quench your thirst, friend. All right, there we go. Looks like it is time for the muscle. I'm gonna go ahead and equip Tome just to hopefully get it outside of the immediate murder range. Next turn we're gonna drop Gardner and we're gonna try to stabilize our board. Three, four, five, six. So yeah, so I can Gardner, Shackle Mace, and Blacksmith. Um, you're helpful because you'll lock down that harpy. Or sorry, the scooter. Also gives me something to equip the items to to trade. Because if our bone bow is silencing this guy and this guy, then if I equip you the bone bow here, breath. you're at three. Which allows my you to take the trade. At least we found two harpies off of prophecies. The Great Shackle Wars begin. All right, so we just got to be set up for America I next turn. The sharpest looking lawn in these aisles. Silence that off. Then we've got Merrick next turn, and hopefully somebody pulls a bone bow. Fundus Stone. Friggin' lovely. Um, there is an argument, an argument I'm gonna agree with here, that is you use Sentinel Battle Mace to... and Shackle Mace to just kind of buy us some time. Because that allows us to trade off with the lethals. the grass now my one alakir survivalist without ring can't rage this turn They're just not a cliff racer. That's pretty bad. That allows him to clear one creature. Die like a dog. Could I get? Do I have a one cost? I don't have a one cost creature. 
and Sentinel Battle Mace I don't think is going to save us, so we're just going to merit. Low roll, low roll, high roll. But then we rolled Breakthrough, which I really didn't want to do. Keep off the grass now. Do not test me. Just gonna get the buff down. Allows me to trade with Merrick before I unsummon him next turn with Looter. Though we are possibly representing lethal next turn. Six, seven, eight. Why are you not buffing your drain? You don't want your drain to die? It is only four away from lethal. You waste my breath. I do not fear death. So we've got lethal. Let's go for it. It's too risk. They hit a prophecy. We're dead. Can I get them to 21? I could deal exactly 3 damage through that. And I need to do exactly 2 damage through it. So there is a chance for a prophecy. We roll that By now. Stendar's might. Because if it's a prophecy, I need to guard up. Nope, we're good. And we sent no battle mace, and even with our terrible draw. Get off my lawn! That's basically what he says. We're just gonna go and we're gonna kick that archer and all their silly little bats and all their silly little trees, which ironically is the name of our uh, tournament that we're going to be playing, not this Saturday, but next Saturday. Tessalasia Meme Tournament. They exist. Details in my Discord and details to be found eventually. I'm going to leave it about a one-week notice within the Tess Tessal Asia Discord. What are we at? 17 minutes? Oh, we can go again. Oh, we can go again. We got to play Merrick. We dealt with triple spooters. Didn't get our shackle, and honestly, had a pretty terrible draw. Which is why you don't see me playing this deck on ladder. It's, while this deck has a high ceiling that is potential, it can, it could probably beat most decks. It also has a wider range of play that it is extremely likely that it just low rolls. And when it low rolls, you're just like, oh, yep, not doing anything for four turns. And then you're dead on ladder. Another maids list. I have to check when the hero pass rolls over. We're memeing. I'm keeping adoring fan. You don't have a. You don't get to choose. Ah, but see, we got rewarded. We drew Merrick. Now we just gotta live. Winner's grass makes living more likely. If I can find a tormentor. All right, found a Forsworn Guide, useful for Merrick. Preparations have been made. We found our Tormentor. Yeah, that's right. It's an adoring fan. Our opponent now does a read because I've not seen that legendary before. Why why would somebody possibly play this guy? I mean, look at him. And the art is fantastic. I'll profit from you. If you need someone to cheer you on. Now we'll see what he plays. Looks like he's going for a token mage. Relatively common. Our big hope is going to be that he doesn't remove Tormentor. Nice try. Care to go again? And to kind of encourage that, we're going to play Tormentor over to field. 
get back to work. Like you might kill some you might bring a javelin out if it's threatening your Bruma. You might just play a hive defender over here if it's not. You won't have another. Painful. We again found both Forsworn looters. All right, just action to the face. If it's another Hive Defender ringed out. I'll use uh, Sentinel Battle Mace. If it's something with a smaller attack that I can uh, get away with a scimitar, I'll do that. The Legion stands ready. I'm here to assist. Yeah, you are, my buddy. All right, we're setting up for a um, Merrick next turn. I'm gonna go ahead and give him the Sentinel Battle Mace. Trying to give. Oh, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Exidious? Targets for him to go after. The Legion stands ready. All right, Merrick, do me proud. Stendog, give us strength. You won't get past me. Your blood will spill. Adoring fan, now an 8-5, dual wielding a Sentinel Battle Mace and a Dawnbreaker. Looks like Tormentor's getting murdered. I do like the fact that Merrick rolled extra health on himself. A, it was card draw, and B, it gives me something so that he's less likely- oh, please no. No, not Merrick. Like, kill the Ward Crafter. There's always a play. Alright, boys. Our spirit animal got murdered. Your blood will spill. All right, prophecy. And yeah, I'm just going to rapid shot that off. I guess I should have shackled and rapid shot that one off. Oh well. If you need someone to cheer you on. Bye, buddy. Will have your head into another prophecy. Blood upon the sand. All right, then we'll play outside of uh, bolt range. So we have two prophecy javelins, right? No, he played one javelin, then the other one was prophesied. We'll hold no matter what. 
Let none defile our temple. What's she gonna do to him? Throw fire bloom? I'm here to assist. That's my boy. Hey, buddy. I'll fight to my last breath. Over here. Can I carry your weapon? Shine your boots? Back your boots? I'm gonna play around reverb and just hold uh, the other loot, uh, guide in hand. Because if he has reverberating strike, it just clears both of them. Dead again. If you need someone to cheer you on, I shall end their blasphemy. Into the fray. I'll fight to my last breath. Into the fray. Hoping I'm not wrong to uh, not play around Ice Storm. This didn't strike me like an ice storm type of list. Pseudo tokens. The reach is ours. The reach is ours. You'll burn. Well, there we go. We got a Doring fan value twice. He, how many times did he ki did he get killed? Three times. That's not too bad. And he'll be back. He's always gonna be back. Oh, we got our three win reward. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna call it there though. We got to see really everything the deck had to offer. We got to see Merrick, we got to see Adoring Fan. We got to see why you keep Adoring Fan coming back so you could equip items to him. It was fun. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll continue putting up videos. In two weeks, we will have our tournament. And yeah, we stream on Facebook Gaming. Thanks to Phil, Waterworth, Delagrammaticus, all of you guys who support us both on Facebook Gaming and on our YouTube channel. Well, YouTube channel via Patreon. Thanks. It helps. It helps a lot. Especially as, uh... Well, we'll have our future Fortress report coming up. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, it's coming up uh, this Friday. Future Fortress Report, coming Friday. We'll be talking about uh, the future of the channel then. Best of vibes. Have yourselves a great night.